Same drill as before. New day, new creepypasta. This time, we're going for... Oh, ho, 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 ho. My personal favorite creepypasta. Sonic EXE. Now, if for those that don't know, Sonic EXE is considered a demonic version of Sonic the Hedgehog. And y'all know how much I love the Sonic franchise. But, I don't want to spend too much time. I want to get right into the backstory. So, let's get into it. Now it's time we get into the backstory of Sonic EXE. And I already said this before in the intro, Sonic EXE is technically my favorite creepypasta of them all. Because I, like, like y'all know, I love the Sonic franchise. And when it comes to creepypastas, Sonic EXE is my go-to. Let's see what we got. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There's... Yeah, there's that picture of Sonic Daddy XE. Let's go. I am God. Sonic EXE's most famous quote. Hello. Do you want to play with me? That's EXE to Tails, and you're too slow, want to try again. Sonic EXE, also known as X, or EXE for short, is the titular main antagonist of the Sonic EXE series. Sonic EXE is an eldritch entity taken on the form of Sonic the Hedgehog that sends out a haunted game disc featuring the creature killing the main Sonic characters, eventually leading him to rip out the soul of his victim and making them his slave. The original Sonic EXE story centers on Tom, a young man who was a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, especially the older games. He claimed that he had not played any glitchy or hacked games before, though he admitted that he didn't want to after an experience he had. He then proceeded to recount his experience, saying how he received a CD and an accompanying letter from his friend Kyle, begging him to destroy the disc before it's too late and not to play the game. Ignoring his friend's warnings, Tom played the game and began to encounter odd, somewhat disturbing phenomena. From a title card featuring an evil-looking Sonic with bloody eyes and glowing pupils with a white smile, to the presence of a file select similar, uh, so file select screen similar to that of the one in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, with a red background and chilling music playing. As he picked the only available character, Tails, and began the first stage, titled Hill Act 1. Tom continued to find more evidence that there was something wrong with the game, namely the copious amounts of dead animals, all murdered in gruesome ways and eventually encountering Sonic at the end of the level, standing completely still and with his eyes closed. When Tails attempted to get his attention during a cutscene by tapping him on the shoulder, Sonic's eyes opened identical to the Sonic on the title screen before cutting to black with the message, Hello, do you want to play with me? In the next level, Hide and Seek, Tom witnessed Sonic chasing Tails, the latter flying despite an inability to do so without a super form, before disappearing, teleporting in front of the distraught fox and killing him and cutting to black. Shocked, Tom reads the next message, You're too slow, wants to try again. After playing his knuckles and losing a supposed boss battle with Sonic, Tom decided to take a break from the game. However, his rest was plagued by nightmares featuring the corrupt Tails and Knuckles and the demonic Sonic. With him waking in a cold sweat, returning to the game, Tom picked Robotnik from the final select screen and continued with the game. At the end of the level, Sonic teleported in front of Robotnik before the screen cut to red static, then a hyper-realistic image of Sonic appeared on the screen with the words, I am God. After the game ended, Tom turned around to find, to his utter horror, 
a bloodied Sonic plushie on his bed. Tom's fate is ambiguous, though the official sequel reveals that Tom committed suicide to escape from the entity using Sonic's likeness. Wow. Okay. The sequel, or prequel, of Sonic X, he centers around a young detective named Derek Green investigating the murders committed by an unknown entity. <sighs> Throughout the entire murder case, each murder has been investigated by Detective Derek Green and his sister, Chelsea. After Chelsea got captured by EXE, Derek was dropped out of the case for unknown reasons, but that didn't stop him from pursuing his sister's captor. As he secretly investigated each murder that EXE commits, Derek slowly becomes more and more paranoid to the point where he believes everyone is working for the cult. Through a mysterious contact named Cole, Derek discovered that the cult was behind the conspiracy and that Chelsea was trapped in EXE's world. Eventually, Derek got captured by the cult and confronted by one of the cult leaders, Shannon Goldman. Derek believed that by destroying the disc, which he did, that would once and for all stop EXE from tormenting humanity. But Shannon proved his efforts pointless and revealed that the cult made multiple copies of the game disc in case anything happened to one of them. Shannon then summoned EXE, who then proceeded to steal Derek's soul. Three weeks later, after EXE stole Derek's soul, Derek's boss, Bob Richardson, received a message from Cole, who filled him in on what happened. Hmm. Sonic EXE looks exactly like his idol, Sonic the Hedgehog, except there are several noticeable differences to his appearance. EXE's fur and quills are a darker blue and less smooth and more unkempt. His skin is sickly pale color, with a black color fading into his forearms, hands, forelegs, and feet, symbolizing EXE's dark matter in a way. His claws are sharp and pitch black, though sometimes they're also bright purple. EXE's mouth is often unnaturally wide when he smiles, and it's always fanged and yellow. Sir JC explained that the yellow on his teeth is not a result of tooth decay, but one of the few side effects when his body was first made, and his eyes are pitch black with two glowing red dots as irises with very tiny pupils. Hold up, let me see. Yeah, they do... The fur does look a bit darker blue compared to ac uh, Sonic's actual fur. So that makes sense. For some reason, Inksy seems to always produce blood under his eyes, even when he's not actually crying, though this is a major birthmark. When he was born, Inksy's eyes hurt greatly. When Inksy isn't crying blood, one can see a faint but noticeable rash under his eyes from crying so much blood. Sonic Inksy is the complete opposite of Sonic the Hedgehog. He is a wrathful, tyrannical, malevolent, sadistic, cruel, and twisted monster who takes glee in repeatedly killing anyone's life, even his own slaves showing him as the definition of pure evil. Ixi views humanity to be the perfect plaything and desires to one day have it all to himself for eternity, and believes himself to be a god thanks to his reality-controlling powers. Ixi's arrogant and sa uh, sadism appear to stem from his creative side, so it's possible that he also uses his power to torture him humans just to see what he can do with them, not just because it gives him great pleasure and power over them. Aside from his insatiable love for humans and his uh, sadistic and creative need to play with them, EXE also idolizes Sonic the Hedgehog, which inspired EXE to create a body for himself similar to his idols and also create a world that has many aspects from Sonic's world and hopes to one day have Sonic all to himself as he rules over humanity. While EXE does truly admire Sonic to the point of possible... That just made me a little bit uncomfortable. I just saw that. It made me a little bit uncomfortable. 
does truly admire Sonic to the point of possible homosexuality and fanaticism, he also shows great disappointment whenever Sonic doesn't act like, act like the Sonic he idolizes. EXE is able to twist and alter reality in any way he likes. He is completely omnipotent. Wait. <laughs> I just now realized I skipped the first paragraph of the powers and abilities. <laughs> As shown from the original story, Sonic EXE is able to fly and levitate off the ground, teleport from place to place in a cloud of black smoke, travel through the game and manipulate its code, create dark, ghostly illusions in order to confuse and torment his enemies, and shapeshift in order to look exactly like his idol Sonic. In the second story, he's shown to be highly manipulative and charismatic, able to lead an entire cult to believe he is doing good for the world. EXE is able to twist and alter reality in any way he likes. He is completely omnipotent and immortal and cannot be killed by normal means, but cannot last too long in the real world, which would presumably kill him for good. EXE is also able to create and manipulate dark matter, the very substance he's made of, and wields a large black hole inside his mouth that he uses when he gets bored of a slave, which would completely evaporate their soul and erase them from existence. Wow. That right there took a turn. That took a turn. Sonic EXE was created by JC the Hyena, is incredibly strong and is immortal. He can't be damaged and can't be killed. He has a game made by Mystic Crimson. I have the game on my computer. He was created on June 23rd, 1991. His confirmed birthday is November 7th, but is strongly overpowered by his creation date. Sonic Kingsley has commonly been thought to be a demon possessing Sonic's body, his first and most well-known fan-made origin, despite the two canonically being separate entities. So, so obviously we have this uh, picture right here for Sonic Yanksy. That's a good representation. But we also have, I always got to do, you always got to know that I do the fan art at the very end of the video. Uh, this one actually looks pretty good. We can finish. See, like, obviously, I uh, it doesn't really show his grin that large, but it does give a good representation of what he's supposed to look like. I say this one's a pretty good one. Yeah, I'd say this one's a pretty good one as well, but unfortunately, like as we all know, uh, the fingers on the gloves don't normally get ripped off so those should not be there you can definitely see a wider grin than the one before that this one however this one however this is one of my favorites cuz you can see the blood stain around his fur you see the wide grin and just constant text behind him saying, I am God, I am God. Hey you, yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.